Have your YouTube videos been looking less than fresh? Have you been shooting your videos on a potato again? But I love my potato camera. And how about that audio? Oh, two tin cans and a string, really? I know you're gonna dig this. Tech review, tech review. Should we uh, do a tech review? Yeah, it's been done. How about an unboxing review? What is this, 2012? Well, that the, the unbox therapy guy, um, what's his name? Uh, Louis Helsentager. Yeah, it sounds Canadian in a weird uh, nighttime television sort of way. Uh, yeah, I think he is. Well, that kind of explains it. Anyway, he's pretty good. Yeah, that's true, but you don't have nine million subscribers, a dedicated camera crew, or endorsements flowing like water. I'm also not Canadian. Yeah, but here's the rub. After my last video, the audio kinda... I think it was Serpent ZA. Huh? Ah, oh, he totally turned off the Zoom H1. Well, we don't know that. Dude, check the video. That mic goes into Serpent ZA's hand and boom, free fall, dead stick, no audio. Yeah, but there could have been any number of reasons that the audio went dead on that. Meteorite? Well, anyway, after that last audio debacle, debacle, whatever. So I wanted to up my audio game just a little bit. So I made a slight detour into Hong Kong to visit my second favorite camera shop. So uh, what happened to your first favorite? It's much closer than my third favorite camera shop. Okay, that actually makes sense. So since last year, I've mostly been shooting on this uh, Canon G7X, and the results have been mostly better than bringing sexy back. Wait, who wrote this script? Sorry, I was listening to uh, Justin Timberlake. But the audio has always been somewhat of an issue. So I wanted to pick up some parts to address that. At your second favorite camera shop? That's the one. Naturally. So I picked up a couple of sliders, a couple of uh, gizmos, uh, nuts, berries, twigs, uh, thingamabobs. Feel better now? Yeah, can we go get some pancakes? <laughs> Tonight we make gold. Uh, 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 no early 90s James Colburn quotes, please. Wasn't he Canadian? He was also American. Yeah, well he kind of had that Canuck vibe. Anyway, I wanted to make a whole new uh, run and gun rig that I can use on the fly, on the go, to get better audio. And I'll list all the components, of course, down in the uh, descriptions of this video. Very underrated. So on the uh, Mark I setup, I uh, mounted the uh, camera on the bracket and then put the Video Micro Pro with the uh, fuzzy wind protector on the uh, top. Yeah, that's called a uh, dead cat in the industry. So like any other kit bash, this one needs a name. So I'm calling it the Shocker Mark I. Ugh. Hello? Dude. Dude, you're right here. You don't need to actually... What? Really? Two in the... And one in the... Oh. Like any other kit bash, this one needs a name, so I'm calling it the Ed Mark One. Ed? Yeah, after my uh, second favorite uncle. So this is an everyday rig. So since this was a little loose, uh, what I did next is I went ahead and eliminated the Zoom H1, a little uh, sideways uh, phone or uh, iPod bracket on the side. And then we can mount either an iPhone or like a uh, iPod Touch on here. And you'll note I'm actually mounting it upside down so my cable can click right there. Now this is where you need a special uh, patch cable. And there we have the Mark II Ed. So can you use it for interviews? Oh yeah, it definitely could be. The microphone itself doesn't have a battery and it is connected to the iPod Touch or iPhone, so it has a much better audio pickup than the camera by itself does. I mean, the uh, G7X is no slouch when it comes to audio, but compared to uh, professional audio, 
there's just no comparison. Run and gun on the street. Oh yeah, it's, it's a tool. And like anything else, there's a time and place for the shocker. Yet. How about a uh, sit down Q&A? Sure. Underwater basket weaving? With or without a submarine? I'm going to say with. Then yes. How about while singing Frank Sinatra and dressed in drag? Absolutely. That didn't quite sound right. So yeah, it seems like a pretty good alternative for a lav mic, but unfortunately, it's still a little bit, um, well, it's kind of like a newborn gazelle or a, you know, a baby llama trying to walk for the first time. It's just kind of, you know, a little lot wobbly. So I decided to try to uh, refine the design a little bit. Hey, hey, battery, battery, let's make it quick, make it quick. So for the Mark III setup, I wanted to eliminate the handle and the bracket and kind of combine them. So I got another bracket that had the handle mounted on it. So we can just mount the uh, camera on it. And then I can just mount the uh, iPod and the uh, microphone right to the top. Plug our patch cable in. And it's uh, pretty solid, you know? Hey, how you doing there, buddy? And this is the uh, Mark III Ed. Now, there's a mental picture. So yeah, this seems like a pretty good alternative to the uh, lav mic, as far as a run and gun rig goes. And don't get me wrong, there is a time and a place for a traditional lav mic. True story. You may not have the time or patience to uh, slip something long and dangling down your chest. Yeah. It'll work. Well, hey guys, that was the worst tech review in China. Guaranteed. Like anything else, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And always carry a can of sardines. You'll never know when you need them. Well, hey guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Like anything else, stay frosty. We'll see you next time. And okay, that's a wrap. We got it. Okay, ready? Yeah, I hate shooting on a potato camera. I wonder if there's some way I could mount a chicken left foot on this. Chicken foot attachment. Data was backwards. In case you need to, like, you know, scratch your beard while you're filming something. <laughs> oh man, this guy probably thinks I'm weird. Okay. Oh, a little higher. <laughs> Would you like a potato camera? Chuck, Chuck! Hey, it could happen.